So, let's see if I can get Mips. No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. He's, go he's going down the, the hallway of very easy to catch him. Just got to slightly trigger him. Got him. Oh. It's okay. He's going down the, the hazy maze cave of very easy to catch him. Okay. Okay, it's fine. I... I... Okay, let's lure him to the left. He's easy mode here. He's easy mode. Just got to approach him just enough to make him make him move and then be ready to grab him. Come on. Got him. Oh. Uh... It's fine. Okay, this is the backup strategy, which is just... Oh. Oh. Oh, my. I... Oh. This does not usually take me this many tries. It usually takes me, like, one... No! He's even got a doofy-looking face on him. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, aren't the... Isn't the whole point of rabbits that they get tired after you chase them for a long time because they can't sweat or something? So it's usually not this hard. Oh. oh. Okay. It's the stupid controller. That's all there is to it. If I was playing this on an N64, we are working the original hardware, then this would have taken me just one try. Would have been so easy. Yeah, one hand me, brute. I'm late, so late. I must make haste. This shiny thing, mine. It's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Oh, ouch. Take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Hell, maybe I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. Um, that was a very confusing monologue. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually read what he says when you catch him. So, I... Um, still am not 100% sure if I've actually read what he said when you catch him, because it just seemed like abject nonsense. <laughs> cool. Um, what do I feel like going? I guess we're gonna do probably Hazy Maze Cave. That seems... that seems like a fun one. Did all lethal, lethal Lava Land, so let's just continue to, uh, wreck the basement. So they, so they say. Everyone, everyone's heard that phrase before. You know, everyone, everyone, uh, wreck the basement. Yeah, that's uh, that's what cool people say. Okay, uh, so we got our first star, which is something about swimming in the lake of, of fun times. I am gonna try swag. Now, longtime viewers of this series, and uh, so far as people that caught the last stream, um, you may know that uh, Every so often, I attempt swag, and every single time I have attempted swag, I have failed quite badly at it. However, we are not going to be repeating those mistakes. Down is the underground lake. No, no, no. Underground lake, taking the elevator down to the underground underground lake is like negative. It, it's so little swag. It's It doesn't even count. It You can't even use the letter S in the description for how little swag that is because it tarnishes the letters that are in the word swag. No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna try and fail. We're gonna try and, and do something. Oh no, that ain't good. That ain't good. Oh, it's fine. We're gonna try and do something remarkably overly complicated that I don't believe I'm even gonna be able to actually successfully pull off. Certainly not in one try. And uh, it's going to take me like five minutes to even figure out how to get there. So, everyone, we're in for a good time, is what I'm saying. Okay, we just need to find our way to the Hazy Maze, as uh, is made famous by Hazy Maze Cave. And to get there, I need to remember... Okay, well, it's right over there. Um, where is the Hazy Maze Cave itself? It's... Uh, was it just in the door over here? It probably was just in the door over here. Yep. The he very, very daunting entrance to the Hazy Maze Cave. This is where everything can so quickly go to shit, unless you're a superior Mario master like me. Grab that. There we go. Now I'm invincible. Uh, right, so I think I need to go into this door. This might just take me to a star. This might just be, what's the one star's name? It's called, like, Backdoor Exit of the Hazy Maze Cave or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is taking me exactly where I want to go. I want to go above 
the, the, the area with the rolling boulders so that I can do a little climby jams here. Perfect. Okay. Okay, I just need to remember how to do it. Okay. Ow. Okay. Um, let's read the sign. If you jump and hold the B button, you can hang on to some objects overhead. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Okay. I don't got that. There we go. I don't remember this being nearly this hard. I, <laughs> I genuinely remember grabbing onto the ceiling to be a, um, a pretty trivial task. I don't... I don't... Oh, God. Oh, all of America is watching right now. This is almost as important as the election. Everyone needs to see me pull this off. Oh, God. How do you do this? No, that's the wrong one. Okay. Damn it. You jump and you press B. And I can't... I can't. I'm pressing B. Is it different on my controller? Is that the thing? No. What the hell? What? Why can't I do this all of a sudden? <laughs> Am I going to have to look up the controls to remember how to do? It says, oh my gosh, I feel like such a, I feel like such a game journalist right now. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's the same as my jump button, which is A on my controller. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was just a GameCube controller translation issue. Cool. Well, everyone just got to see me pull a cuphead on that one. Um, turns out that the hardest video game platformer of all time is not actually Cuphead. It is, in fact, Super Mario 64. All-Stars. 3D All-Stars. And purely because you need to know how to... Um, oh, God. Okay, don't screw this up. This is terrifying. Okay. I'm on here. Now what do I do? Shit. Okay. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay. This is the furthest I've ever gotten with this trick. Swag. Oh. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I should have looked up how to do this. No! Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just grab this star while I'm up here. Cool, so you can jump on top of that box, and then if you know what you're doing, you can jump to a completely different part of the level by, like, jumping out of bounds. Um, I don't know how to do that. I didn't look up how to do that. I didn't, um, I saw somebody do it years ago. So my assumption is that I could obviously pull it off in one try. I was wrong. I've, I'm very rarely, you know, wrong about anything in my life, but I will gladly admit that I was wrong about this one, this one time. Let's go over here. Oops. Fuck. Uh, well, just give that a second try. Super Movie Beast in the Cavern. I know how to do this one. You go over here, and then... So, okay. What it actually is, is that there's a, there's a way to skip to the bottom, to the lake as well, if you go to the left here. The, yeah, it's totally... it's There's totally, totally a swag strat over here. I just didn't pull it off in one try, but that's okay. Because, you know, half of swag is just attempting to get swag in the first place. That's what swag people say. And I didn't get hit by the boulders. See, that's that's like 10 points of swag right there. 10 points of swag. Right, so yeah, if you jump off the box, you'll land basically on the middle island. And I don't know how to do that. And I, it looks really cool, and I want to figure out how to do that at some point. So maybe I'll just mess with it at some point after I've collected a multitude more of stars. Just to, just to spend a couple of minutes just to... Get in touch with my swag self. Alrighty. So, where is our wonderful little friend? There they are. This thing scared the shit out of me as a kid. I assumed it was going to hurt me. I assumed that it was a terrifying death mo monster. Instead, it's basically just a Lapras that you can c tell, like, tell it what to do. 
there. There's also like a sign that says, um, like, make sure he doesn't eat you or something like that in the cavern. And when you read that and you're a trusting small child, you're just going to assume that like when somebody says like something is going to eat you, you're like, yeah, that, that checks out. Seems pretty square with me. Um, elevate for the eight red coins. Possibly one of my least favorite eight stars in the entire game. Maybe one of the... I mean, okay, if I'm doing the eight red coins, then I might as well do, like, all the 100 coins thing here. Oh, God, I hate doing 100 coins in an easy maze cave. Ow. Yeah, that's an infinitely spawning one. Okay, cool. We're the little... Those, those spiders have always reminded me of gumdrops. Like, they, they, they look delicious. I can't tell if they're made of gumdrops or if they're made of, like, fiery lava. Oh, they kind of also look like, um, uh, rubber bouncy bounce balls, you know? Like, the ones you throw on the ground and they go, like, back up because they're bouncy. That's, those are the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, you've probably heard of them. Okay, um, so eight red coins are going to be in this area. I hate them. You have to go around this stupid elevator. It's incredibly slow. And there's just, bleh. There's probably ways to make this a little bit more exciting, but I don't know any of them. You just stand on this thing, and then you can, you actually bump into all this other random shit that's floating around in here. There's one. It's in these boxes. Yeah, every time you touch something in this game, it shakes violently at you, just like in real life. Damn it, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's the other thing, is it changes, changes the direction it's going. Come on! Oh, 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 that was cool. <sighs> now the elevator needs to be reset. Oh, let's see. Hmm? Hmm? There we go. Thing. There we go. Good, 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 good. You know what they need to remake is Golden Eye. You know what they'll never ever be able to remake is Golden. Nah, God no. I need to kill that eyeball so that I can get the um, get the get the the words. Uh, there's a blue coin in the eyeball. I also just remember that they remade Golden Eye at one point, so. They need to make it. They need to do a good remake of GoldenEye at some point. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. There was that one like unofficial game that I played for a little bit. That was kind of cool, but I forget what it was even called. But it was like it was like fake GoldenEye. Like you could, it was like all the maps and all the guns and stuff like that. But it wasn't it wasn't really the same thing because it was totally unofficial. And I just remember. I remember playing it a little bit. What was it called? Like Golden Source or something? It was a Half-Life mod. I remember pl I remember playing it and all I remember is that I just got my ass kicked royally because I was fighting against people that... If I remember, there were actually a significant number of hackers. Uh, and, you know, by that I mean people that were better at the game than me. <clears throat> yeah. No, I mean, uh... There were... I... Uh, I just remember it being abject chaos, and I think I just remember, like, I would go into a room, I'd pick up my favorite gun, and then I would die immediately. And I'd be like, no, I picked up the good guy gun. I picked up the, the like, the, the, the Cougar Magnum, or whatever the stupid gun names were in that game. No. Oh, God, I hate this puzzle. Oh, this is the worst star. This has changed my, changed my mind. This is, this is the worst star. Okay, okay. Um, making a remake of GoldenEye is literally just making a good FPS. Okay, that's a good point. Um, I don't really have a good way to refute that one. Is it over there? That looks like stuff. Let's go over there. Let's go, yeah. And then, yeah. I guess... The other way to put it is that they need to make games that have good cheat codes again. And you need to make they need to make games where you unlock cheat codes by doing cool shit like you did it in Goldeneye. But then again, the N64 did have the best cheat codes. Always. There are no games that have better cheat codes than 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 any N64 game. 
okay. Cheat codes used to be something really, really nice. They were cool. I remember RTS cheat codes being a lot of fun to get. Um, I mean, the, you know, you would, there were, there were always like little Easter eggs like that. And, and um, you know, the, the fun thing is that oftentimes you would find like, they, they always had weird names, right? Like your, the cheat code would be obviously for GoldenEye, like the one that I immediately remember is DK mode and shit like that. But, um, you know, like in StarCraft, the cheat codes always had names that were really, really weird, like, um, Operation Qual and stuff like that. And it was like, you would never, you would never ever, uh, forget the cheat codes when they were, when they were that memorable and that incredibly nerdy. And if you were that bad at the video, damn it, damn it, damn it. And if you were that bad at the video game, then you never played without the cheat codes turned on anyway. So why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you remember them? I remember one time I was playing StarCraft, um, and by that I mean what I did was I turned on invincibility um, in StarCraft, which I think it was the cheat code for that was called Power Overwhelming. So I turned on that cheat code, and then I um, I basically just so so when you turn that cheat code on, not only were all of your pieces invincible, all of the enemy pieces in, were invincible as well. So what I did was I turned that on and then I just turned on the screen cheat as well as so you could see everything. And I just watched the AI players fight infinitely. They never were able to defeat each other. They were locked in a stalemate. Um, and they just kept like building bigger and bigger and bigger armies until there was like, they hit the unit cap. So it must've been like a solid like 50 or 60 like zealots on the screen just duking it out and stuff like that it was pretty awesome um but then of course now that i think about it i was like huh i played a video game insofar as i watched ai's play a video game for probably half an hour or more oh children have infinite time don't they Did the AI sack little units to make bigger ones? Um, yeah, they probably could. Uh, oh, wait. No, they didn't do that. No, so it was just like, even though they had um, teched up to everything, then they had like as many possible gems as they, or gems? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like um, tachyon crystals or whatever the hell they were called. Uh, even though they had all of that, they, um, they uh, they could never no units could ever die so they they just they just uh, duked it out for forever. 